everyone, my name is Trey Ninzi, and as you can see, I suffer from really bad acne. I'm gonna have fun editing that later. I've got a new foundation to try for you guys. This is the new Tarte Face Tape Foundation. They came out with the hydrating and then the matte formula a while ago and that kind of failed and people didn't like it so they came out with this new one. All the information about this foundation will be a little bit later in the video while I'm applying it. I just want to go ahead and dive in and let's try this out. I also have their face tape primer to try. I've tried this twice already with my regular foundation. I really like this primer. It's very hydrating, but boy, did it break me out. I'm pretty sure it caused this honker right here, which is now just like a crusty, you know, mess. But it was a huge, huge one. I'm pretty sure this is what did it because this was the only thing that was different and I did it two days in a row, but I'm gonna try it again for you guys. Ah, we'll see. Hopefully it doesn't break me out. But if this is supposed to make the foundation better, I definitely want to try the both of them together. So let's dive in and see if this stuff can cover my acne. On one side of my face, I'm going to be using a Sigma foundation brush. You guys know I am obsessed with them, and I wouldn't lie to you guys. They are the bot. The, the bot. The bot. I meant the bomb.com. And then on the other side of my face, I'm going to be using the June & Co. Velvet sponge microfiber sponge I think I've used this in one other video this is damp it is so soft and cool it feels really nice it doesn't hold a lot of liquid um, or anything so excited about this and see if this will help to apply the foundation I got mine in the color fair light sand I was testing these out in store because they are in Ulta stores right now and the color that I think would be an ideal match for me was out and this was the next best thing so hopefully this will work out don't judge me if it doesn't where I got eyeshadow primer on my eyelids Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion so enough of the chit chat let's dive in what Sigma brush do I want to use today I'll just use the good old Sigma flat kabuki f80 brush here and all the Sigma links that I leave down below are affiliate links. And thank you guys so much for using them. I really, really appreciate it a lot. Support a girl. Thank you so much. All you have to do is shop through the link. That's it. Thank you so much. <laughs> Let's go ahead and apply the primer. It's like a white color and it's very hydrating. It has a little bit of a scent to it. I'm going to do it on this side of my face. But I did notice with my regular foundation that it just made it look so healthy and not like really dry looking hopefully it doesn't give me a massive zit on my nose because that wouldn't be cute my skin is just now clearing up after having a massive breakout my eyebrows broke out really bad um, after using the Sigma new Sigma brow products the brow products are so good But boy did they not agree with my eyebrows. I had like a bunch of pimples on this one eyebrow It was it was not it was not cute. We got a pump Okay, I'll see you double duty. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my palette here It's a pretty thick foundation. That's two pumps there I just realized the camera stopped recording and I don't know at what point it stopped recording but I just deleted some footage off of my camera that I needed. No! <laughs> I hate when that happens. I've never had that happen before where I just got too thumb happy deleting stuff. Dang it! Oh, that's so frustrating. Oh no. Shoot! Oh, I'm so upset. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue blending this out it's looking a little dry and crusty and this is the primed side too it's kind of clinging to stuff and that primer is supposed to be like a hydrating primer and it's looking kind of kind of crusty I have heard complaints that this foundation is too drying so I'm not surprised, but the coverage looks pretty awesome. It's a little light for me, like I said, but there it is on one side of my face with the brush. 
And I still have a little bit of foundation left, but I need to add some more for the other side of my face with the sponge. I guess I'm going to use the June & Co. sponge here. Because this is so drying, it might be better to use it with a sponge to give it a little bit of hydration. Yeah, this is definitely <laughs> a little light for me, but that's all right. We're going to work with it, and I knew that going into trying it, but let's see what I think of it with the sponge. It honestly doesn't look that much different than the brush side. I feel like I'm getting the same amount of coverage. It might be just the sponge since it doesn't soak up a lot of product and doesn't hold a lot of water. So it looks about the same to me. It's just not... You just don't get those like brush strokes um, with from like a brush. Um, just because this is a little bit of like a thicker foundation there's the foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest of my makeup off camera and I'll be right back you guys I'm still bitter about deleting that footage I'm just it threw me off I'm so upset <laughs> anyway um, so here is the makeup that I did today <coughs> excuse me still morning voice <coughs> <coughs> But I wanted to play with some color. I was looking at my thumbnails and I was like, all my eyeshadow looks look the frickin' same. So I decided to do, I was feeling, I was feeling pinks and purple, mainly purple, but it kind of turned out more pink. I used the Huda Beauty New Nude Palette. And if you guys want me to do a review on this, let me know because I actually found, I think, an Amazon dupe for this. So let me know if you guys are interested in that video. I know I'm more foundation focused on this channel. Um, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section. On my lips, I have the color Rebel Rose in the Wet and Wild liquid lipstick on. So there's that. And I'm going to try and put all the products that I've used down in the description box. So definitely check that out because I pretty much use the same thing like powder wise and blush and bronzer wise. I don't really venture off. Once I find something I like, I tend to keep with it. Um, so those are the things that I have on my face. So the time is currently 1041 right now. And oh, I'm matching my phone. Oh, here we go. <laughs> um, so that's the time right now. Getting a little bit later of a start because deleting that footage really made me upset. And that video was so good. Man, I'm just really upset. I was reviewing the um, Hard Candy Glamouflage Foundation, so I deleted the part with my reaction in it. <sighs> Not happy about that at all. So I'm going to have to refilm that and get that up so I'm a little upset but that's okay things happen and I can't control that I just again got a little too thumb happy and kept hitting delete so whoops anyway let's go ahead and do what we're gonna do today and uh yeah I'll see you guys in a second <laughs> for a check-in of course yeah all right bye hello this is not a time check-in because it's only 12 o'clock and obviously it's not gonna look that much different um but i wanted to show you guys what the foundation looked like in natural daylight so i'm in front of a window right now and here is what the foundation looks like it looks pretty average to other foundations so far um it kind of has a little bit of like when i do this kind of holds the lines in my face but i mean as far as emphasizing bumps and things like that it looks pretty normal to um, other foundations. I had this one already, so it's kind of, that looks like this is the primed side, by the way. You got me some type of way, ain't used to feeling this way, ready to go with your girlfriend. All right, y'all, it is currently 324, so I've had this foundation on for f over four hours now, and it's looking pretty awesome just a little bit oily around the nose noticing a couple noticing some pustules popping up I had those two already but these guys are new and some of these guys are new or more popping out now but again this was the primed side 
close-up of that eyeshadow though. Mm. <laughs> but yep, so let's see. I mean so far it feel it fierce. It feels really good. I'm getting a little bit oily in my chin area as well. It's just a little bit less oily on the primed side, but that's what we're dealing with right now. Good old JC Penny. Gotta go into Sephora to get some Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder online. It said they had some, but I went in there the other day and they didn't have any, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> Got the powder, they had it. Woo! <laughs> Hello, I'm back, and the time is currently 8.22, so I've had this foundation on for over nine hours and it feels nasty oh what happened to my nose there oh dear but if you can see up close this is just looking like an oily mess right here this was the primed side and honestly it doesn't look too much different than the non primed side um but i have this like zit here and it is making it feel so gross and disgusting like I just want to rip this off my skin just doesn't feel great at all I just feel like like this is really hurting and it's like bringing a lot of like of my bumps to the surface I'm getting some pustules a little bit so I have to say this is not a great foundation it looks decent um, but I really don't feel like the primer helped that much at all um my eyeshadow is definitely looking looking crazy not looking cute so anyway that's my initial first impression with the new Tarte face tape foundation let me know if you guys have tried it and what your experience has been in the comment section below and don't forget to follow me on instagram at shwain Lindsay. you guys i am at 14.3 thousand followers now and i am so so thankful for that thank you guys for following my page and um giving me that support so i really really do appreciate it and yeah you guys are amazing thank you guys